And I see that, that girl, that lady in that King Kong's, that monkey's gorilla's hand like that. And I can see she's cringing. You know? I believe, I said, how did they take these pictures? How did they know this? I didn't know about trick photography, what they can do on film. I didn't know. But I say, look at it, man. There's something like King Kong, bigger than King Kong, walking in the garden, boom, boom, boom. Your God, that. That's your God. And Adam hides himself away in the bushes. So God comes along and stands and searches for Adam and Eve. I thought he's all knowing God. He knows everything. He's all seeing. He sees everything. But no, this God doesn't. He can't see. So he shouts, I'm only reading your book, man. Your holiness, I'm reading your book. Your book says, he can't find Adam and Eve. So he said, Adam, Adam, where art thou? Tu kaha hai? Adam, Adam, tu kaha hai? <laughs> Can you believe it? This all-knowing God, the all-seeing God, he doesn't know where Adam and Eve were. Or maybe he knew, he knew, he knew. No, no, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, he knew. But, but, but he was playing a game. You see, according to the Christians, they're telling us that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost were in the heavens for billions of years. They were alone, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Alone, nothing, no creation, nothing. Father. And what were they doing? What were they doing? For billions of years, Father said in Holy Ghost, what are they doing? They did doing everything. Father says one plus one plus one equals one. The son says yes, yes daddy. And the Holy Ghost says yes papa, yes, yes. He says two times two is five. So the son says yeah daddy, yes papa. Man, damn it all, if you keep on doing ditto, 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 for millions of years, you get bored to death. Allah. If he's like, man, we get bored to death in five minutes, you know. <laughs> For billions of years, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be doing everything. All on the same wavelength. What about this one says? Yes. What about that one says? This one says yes. Can you imagine the monotony of these people living together for billions of years doing ditto, 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 ditto. <laughs> now, he's got a toy to play with. This father has got a toy to play with. Adam and Eve. So he's playing a game of hide and seek. That game I play with my grandchildren. And I don't know whether you do the same. You might do the same. You see, when I go home, my grandchild, three-year-old, he's waiting for me on the doorway. I get out of the car, I go into the doorway, open the doorway, he's standing there. He's welcoming me. He's there to welcome me. And I look at the ceiling. I say, Rais, Rais, Tukache. That's my language. He says, where are you? Rais, Rais, Rais is his name. Tukache. She says, Papa, Papa, I'm here, Papa, I'm here. No, I'm not looking. As if I don't hear. I say, Reis, Reis, Tukache, where are you? And the poor child believes that I can't see him. Do you know that? <laughs> so God Almighty wants to play a game. And after billions of years of that monotony, he's got two toys, the Adam and Eve. So he wants to play a game with them. Maybe that. Or he didn't know. Maybe he didn't know. Or maybe he's playing a game. You tell me. You tell me. You Christian, tell me. What was he doing? So Adam peeps through the bushes. He said, I'm here. He said, why do you behave like that? Look, he doesn't know. God doesn't know. Why is that guy behaving like that? He said, why do you behave like that? He doesn't know. You say he's all-knowing, but he doesn't know why the guy is behaving like that. So he says, no, 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 because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? You're not supposed to know. Who told you? He doesn't know. He said, have, have you been eating of the food? Look, he doesn't know. This God doesn't know whether this guy, because he had the fruit, and this was the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, now he realizes that he's naked. He doesn't know. Poor God. So, he said, have you been eating of the fruit? He says, it's the woman that thou gave us to me. She made me to eat the cow, our father. Hmm? He's blaming the woman and blaming Allah. If you didn't give me this woman, I wouldn't be in trouble. You gave me this woman and look what she did to me. She got me into trouble. Blaming Allah and blaming the poor woman. The original of our father, the coward. <laughs> May Allah forgive me for saying all these things. He wasn't like that. Allah, he wasn't like that. But now, this is what they're telling me. Right. And when God made man, he tells in verse 31, he says, it's very good. What he made, before that, in six days he made everything, he said, it's good. What he made, is says, good. Masha. Very, very, very good, very good. No, he said, good, 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 good. Now when he made Adam and Eve, this is the best of his creation. Allah says, Wa inna kala Allah Wa in is that we have created you. Wa inna kala Allah khuluk in azim. So most certainly we have created man in the best of molds. 
But now he says, very good. Everything was good. Man and woman, very good. But by the time he reaches chapter 6 of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 6, it says, and it repented the Lord that he had made man. He repented Toba karta hai ke is hadith ko kyun mene banaya. He repented the Lord that he had made man and grieved him at his heart. He is the pain making this bloody monster. For this monster now, in the year 4000 after Adam, he'll have to go and live in a woman's womb for nine months, nourished by the menses, mensuration, which is the nourishment of every human child. That will be his food in his mother's womb. And he'll come out of the same opening like every human child with all the filth and the muck which makes his mother impure for 40 days. That's what the Bible says. She was impure for 40 days. The lubrication. Everybody needs it. So also this God also needed it. And on the eighth day he was circumcised, painfully bleeding and crying. He'll have to go through all that. You know why? Because he couldn't forgive. He didn't forgive. The man says, I forgot. And this God can't forgive. And the Christians say, he's a loving father in heaven. He's kind, compassionate, merciful, not like your God. Your God is a tyrant. Your God is bloodthirsty. Our God is a loving father in heaven. But this loving father in heaven couldn't forgive the man. And for that now he's got to pay the price himself. Go and live in a woman's womb for nine months and castrate himself there. And then born like any other human child with all the filth and the muck. He's had to go through all that. So he said, he repented the Lord that he had made man and grieved him at his heart. You got that? That your God? Then chapter seven, chapter eleven, verse seven. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost—they're still together in heaven. From there, they see down on earth, Babylon, Babylon, Middle East. They see Babylon. They see, they see a hive of activity. Mm -hmm, see the people are running around. Like sometimes you see on the fast video, video when you put the film on fast. Same thing. They see from heaven. There's a lot of hype of activity, people running around. And the father doesn't know what's going on. So he's telling his son and the Holy Ghost, he said, let us go down, let us go down and see what the son of man is doing. This guy here, this bloody rubbish, what is he doing? We would have gone see. So they come down. Father, son and Holy Ghost, they come down from the heaven. <laughs> and say, hey, this guy here, they discover that he is discovered now, bitumen, bitumen. Kolta, you know kolta you use for your roads. Kolta, bitumen. And they discovered how to make bricks. Prior to that, they were building houses with raw bricks. And there's a limit to the height you can go with raw bricks. And with, with spit and sand, you know, as plaster. Hmm? There's a limit to what you can do. Now they discovered bitumen and they learned how to bake bricks. So they can put up bigger structures. And they started building a tower. A tower. So the father is terrified. He says, you know, this guy here, he's going to reach us. <laughs> no, no, that's what the Bible says. That this guy is going to reach us. Father said in Holy Ghost in heaven. You know, the tallest, long, tallest man-made structure on earth is the CN Tower in Toronto. It's worth visiting. If you are in Toronto, go up to the top. There's some small fee. I went up. And from the top I can see motor cars look like cockroaches. No, it's, it's worth experiencing that. But that damn thing, the highest man-made building on earth, hasn't reached the clouds yet. Do you know that? With all your steel and concrete and your technology, you haven't reached the clouds yet in the 20th century. You think with bitumen and big bricks, they'll reach the heavens? This man, you. But the God got frightened. He said, this guy's going to reach us. You know, they're going to come up and up, drilling, drilling. And Father, Son and Holy Ghost are relaxed on their couches. And this guy goes down and through his wife, in his buttocks. Hey, this is it. The man has reached us. What the hell is this? Huh? Hey, it's here. Can you imagine? You, you, bloody rubbish. You, the little things. You, the Toronto Tower has not reached the clouds. And you're going to reach his heaven. Hey, Mars, Jupiter and beyond. With your stick, your big bricks and bitumen. So he confused your language. He said, God, confuse your language. Now, every, prior to that, everybody is speaking the same language. There's unity. Now God confused the language. God confused your language. There's a lana, there's a curse. So now you're speaking Chinese, it's water. The guy brings sand. The guy's shouting Zulu sand, he brings blocks. So they couldn't complete the project. You got that? 